Today we are going to learn how to apply a custom OAuth 2 policy from Okta. In this demo, we will first view a running API, then we will apply the policy, and then we will confirm that the policy is working. We're going to go into API Manager, we're going to open up the product API, and we're going to look at the policies near the bottom. You will notice that at this point there are no applied policies. The policies that are available are defined below, and our goal today is to apply the Okta OAuth 2 token enforcement policy. We're going to manage this application so that we can actually run this API to see what it does. I'm going to copy the URL, and I'm going to open up a console. For this API, we're going to run a simple get command. And this get command is going to provide a response about t-shirts that are of the color white. What we want to do is we'd like to apply this custom policy from API Manager for OAuth 2 authorization. We'll go back into API Manager and go down to Policies. And this time, let's add the policy. You'll see that we have configured it with the information about the Okta organization URL. We've configured out, we've configured our application client ID and client secret. And we've defined a scope that is required as well. If we go back into our API console and try to rerun this API, you'll notice that we get a 401 error and an expired access token. Because now the policy is requiring that a valid access token is provided in order to provide the information. Let's open up a new window. And in this case, we're going to open up a small window that allows us to get a token. We have our client ID and we have our scope. In this case, let's change the scope to tracking. Tracking API is a valid scope and we are asked to authenticate against Okta. Once I sign in, it will redirect me back, and now I can get the token. I'm going to copy this token and bring it back into our API console. This time I'm going to add a header for authorization. And I'm going to use the token that we received. You'll notice this time we still did not get the response of the information about the t-shirts, with the status of 403. The token has not have the right scope. It'd be good to look at Okta. Inside the Okta administration app, we'll go under applications and we'll see that we have a application defined called product API. In this API, we have the authorization server and we've entered the correct information for the OAuth 2 access token. If you'll notice, we had applied both the tracking and the product API as of scopes. However, in the actual API policy, we only allowed the product API. If you remember from our API manager, the policy only allows for the product API scope. So let's go back and apply the right scope and get the correct access token. This time we will go back into the API and request a token with the correct scope. We will copy this new token and we'll come up and we'll apply this token. You'll notice now that we are back to receiving a, a running API. The scope is correct. 
and we were able to receive information about the t-shirts again. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you.